Welcome to the Coaches Show. I'm Darren Joins, Williamson County Schools Athletic Director. Excited to be talking about tonight's WCTV football game of the week. We have our head coaches in here. We've got Scott Stidham from Independence High School. Now, Coach, listen, I know on media day, I was really bragging on you and giving you all kinds of yeah. compliments, and then there was so many S's, I said Summit. And I you thought did. I thought he'll never speak to me again. You can't say Scott Stidham Summit is Independence. That's true. That's true. So we got Coach Stidham here from Indy. And we have Coach Charles Rathbone from Page. Gentlemen, I'm excited about today. Thank you. Appreciate you having us on. And I'm really excited about tonight's game. If you look at last year's matchup, it was, I would call it an instant classic. Great ball game that went into overtime, uh, three overtime game. And here's what's interesting about that, uh, Coach Rathbone. You had an overtime game with Giles County to start. You follow it up with a th three overtime game against Indy. So you'd played like three games in two weeks. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I don't really remember the overtime aspect of it as much as I remember the heat. Right. You know, that yeah. was that really hot week. And of course we got it again. We've had it all week and we got it again tonight. But yeah, it was a great game. I mean, we really got off to a, a fast start. They spotted us some points and, and then we just kind of wore down and didn't hold on at the end, made some mistakes that we shouldn't and usually don't make. Coach Stidham, for your team, it's like it was uh, – I don't want to say a particular virus because it's still a sensitive topic. If, <laughs> but it's almost like you got the OT virus because you had overtime with Paige mm -hmm. and then it led to two more. That's so right. you ended up playing in the first four weeks about six games. Yeah, we did. We went three with them and one with Centennial and two with uh, Franklin. So – I'm not sure I've coached in that many overtimes in a career, you know, and uh, it was all right then. So, yeah, it was, it was a big challenge for us. We were fortunate to win. We throw a prayer up at the end of the second overtime that fortunately was caught. And so uh, it, it, it's always fun to play uh, Coach Rathbone's team because they're so well coached and, and so good. So it's a great measuring stick for us for sure. Coach Rathbone, uh, I know you like having these tough matchups before you get into region play. Giles County – wasn't the same Giles County that you played last year. You rolled in week one, but you have to be excited about playing a WCS game against a 6A opponent that will really get you ready for your region games on down the line. Well, you know, we are, and we in, we enjoy playing independence. We haven't had a whole lot of success against them, but, you know, I mean, Coach Stidham, he's a, you know, I consider him a friend, and, you know, I enjoy playing friends, you know. I mean, somebody that you know that if you have a bad year that they're not going to try to put up 50 on you or 100 on you and embarrass your teammates or team – so uh, we're excited to play them. It's always a challenge. They always got athletes, you know. They got another Katina this year that's really, really, really good. So it's just, uh, you know, it's a short trip. It's a fun trip, and I feel like both schools respect each other. And you know, we pray at the end and and wish the other one good luck. Coach Stedham, with your team, and I always say this about you, Coach. I, I love when people want to play good people. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was always a big believer yeah. in that. Again, I know basketball is different. you got 30 games and you're not banging heads like you guys do in football. But I've always thought, man, play the best teams that you can play. You almost take that to another level <laughs> in terms of scheduling. I mean, your schedule – because I look at your team and go, okay, the past couple of years, five and six. But let's be honest, if you played some other people's schedules – you'd probably be seven and three, but wouldn't be as good at the end of the year. So I like it that you don't really worry about that. But, man, you play some tough teams on your schedule. Well, there's there's no doubt from, from Oakland to Page. You know, they, they've both been in Chattanooga the last few years. So uh, it's a challenge for us, but that's where our kids want to get. That's where we want to get independence football to. And as long as you make it out healthy, it's always a positive. And so for the most part, we're pretty healthy after Oakland, and hopefully we'll, we, we will be after tonight. Was that sort of the same philosophy you had South Gibson too in terms of scheduling? Yeah, we played uh, – we'd play Henry County, who, who they'll probably have to play again, you know, in the playoffs, and, and Haywood and some of those great teams. We played Los Ann, a great private school out of Memphis. So it makes you better. You know, our goal is to get to in the top four somehow in our region and then be prepared for, for November's playoffs because you never know what – and what happens then. And if you're playing bad teams, you're going to be in trouble come November. Let's talk a little game history. Obviously, you guys haven't been a part of this entire series, but it's a series that Independence leads 6-1. Page won the first matchup way back in 2005. Since then, you played in 2006, and then you took off for a few years, uh, played in 11 and 12, and then the last three years you've matched up. Coach Stidham 2-0 in this matchup. Coach Rathbone 0-4 
in this matchup. So I've now provided the bulletin board material for Coach Rathbone for tonight's yeah, I, game. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Coach. <laughs> It's it's been up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, he's been playing for a Blue Cross Blue Shield state championship. That's game, right. That's know? right. So that's much more important for both of us than than this. Coach Rathbone, talk about the quality of a team like Independence. Uh, uh, again, you look at their record the past couple of years. No reflection of their team. They beat you guys last year. They beat a really good beach team last year. Those I, I've said. Again, it's easy for me from this spot. I think it's a semifinal, Beach versus Page, winner goes to the state championship game. So, obviously, their program's one that can take care of those teams, too. So, this is the kind of team you're going to have to beat late in your season, Coach Rathbone. Exactly. And, you know, they again, they always have athletes, and Coach Sidham runs an offense that some people will call it old school, but we just – you know, that's what everybody's running, really. It's a triple option. Everybody's running the dive options, zone read, and stuff out the back. And, and he just runs it from under center, and it's it's tough to stop. It's a different look for defenses. you got you got to prepare all week for something different. But, you know, just lining up against a, a quality group like Independence, a quality team, you know, I actually live in that neighborhood, you know. So Independence, I'm surrounded by Independence when I go home at night. So, I mean, it's just a, a lot of quality kids, quality people, quality coaches, and a lot of, you know, can't have any more respect for everything they do out there. And it just makes a fun environment. We're just excited to see what we can what we can do tonight. You think Coach Rathbone's welcomed in the Indy area and you'll walk around in his page gear? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> just, sure. just not this week, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, it's the same thing. You know, we, I love playing against coach. They they do it right. They're so well coached and talented. And so it's just a great test for us. Our kids are excited to play. They love playing Williamson County teams. And uh, the atmosphere is going to be great tonight. And so uh, we'll, we'll see where we are and see where we have to go next. You know, you guys mentioned there's obviously a, a great respect here. It's something – I talk about it all the time because I've been in these coaches' meetings, whether it be basketball or other meetings I've attended as the district AD. But our football coaches in this county, it's pretty unreal, honestly, the relationships. I think it has something in some cases, there's like a history somewhere. I coach with him. I coached against him. I know when you guys uh, play Ravenwood, Coach Hester always likes to say, I appreciate you guys coming down when I was at Nolensville. Yeah, was, that, was that their first game or first, first varsity, varsity game? game? Yeah, it sure was. So, uh, have you noticed that, Coach Stidham? I mean, you've been in this in this yeah. county a couple years now. It's it's different here. Absolutely. I, I I didn't have this relationship the last place I was with those yeah. coaches, and so the the respect that we all have for each other, and uh, you know, we enjoy seeing each other and talking and sharing ideas with each other because we're really all in this together, and and. You know, most teams, when you're in the other region, you hope they lose every game. Well, I, I pull for our, our guys when yeah. they're playing other people. I think it's good for all of us. Coach Rathbone, you've been in the league a while now. Was it always that way? No, not always. When did you notice kind of a change in that? So I, I think when uh, I think when we got a county athletic director, Qualls, now you, I think that really brought the the schools and communities together and the staffs together. And instead of just doing our own individual things, now we kind of have that one goal. And when we got together, we seen that we saw that we're a lot more light than we are different. We're all got the big picture at heart, the best for the kids, best for the county, best for our schools. And we we want all want to make sure we don't do anything to embarrass the uh, the, the brand. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, WCS or Page or Indy or Ravenwood or whatever it is, we just want to do our best to make sure we honor those brands. Very well said. Let's talk about your games last week, Coach Rathbone. I'll start with you. 28-0 over Giles County. Big shutout to start the season for your defense. I mean, that was that was a strength of your team last year. Looks like that's going to be pretty darn strong again this year. So you got a lot of big, important guys back, too. Yeah, and Giles County's young, so we really that's not a great measuring stick for us. We do think we're going to be pretty good up front, or at least defensively this year. we got eight starters coming back on defense. It's going to be offense where we're going to need some time to really gel and put some things together. And obviously, Weebush had a great game last week. But now can he build off that? Is he going to be satisfied or is he going to build off that? We played uh, two new running backs. One's a junior and one's a freshman. The freshman ran the ball really well. So we're excited to see what he could do as he continues to grow and, and learn the system a little bit more. And we're moving Grand Jean around, who transferred in at quarterback. We're moving him around in the offense. So we're doing a lot of things offensively that we usually don't do or we haven't done in the past or we haven't had to do in the past. So we're trying some new things just to see how it works. 
Coach, uh, you, you play Oakland, you lose that one 35-0, and we talked about this before, and people don't really understand this, but it's true. Opening drive, if you go down and score, it's kind of uncharacteristic of your team mm -hmm. not to cash in there. That can make a difference. I don't care what anybody says. It can make a difference the way you start the game. Sure. Sure. We, you know, our, our goal is to keep it close and, and get it into fourth quarter because they're not used to game pressure. You know, Oakland beats everybody bad. So uh, we had four turnovers, and it's hard to beat air when you have four turnovers, you know. So things we can improve on and get better at. So it's going to – we've worked all week. Kids have had a great attitude. We knew what we were getting into, but, but a lot of the mistakes were us making our own mistakes, and then they capitalize on it because they're Oakland. So we're looking forward to, to playing tonight. Well, and to your point, Coach, you talked about that schedule. If you play someone and you can turn it over four times and still win, do you really learn from it? Yeah, no, you learn a lot more when you watch on film and things go bad, for sure. Hey, let's talk about your regions. Uh, everybody talks about Region 6, 6A, Brentwood, Franklin, Independence, Ravenwood, Summit, Overton. And it's like, hey, that's the best region in 6, 6A. I, think, I don't even think it's a question. I would also argue, Coach Rathbone, now that we've got the three WCS teams with Centennial, Nolensville, Page, add in a program like Hillsboro, who's had great success over the years, I think you can make an argument you also play in the best region. Yeah, I think we definitely play in at least top two regions in the state. The Knoxville region is pretty rough. Um, and also the Beach Portland region, that's pretty tough. So, I mean, a lot of good football all around this area and especially here in Williamson County. And, you know, I mean, I think that's why we see an influx of kids wanting to come into Williamson County and, you know, the parents biting that bullet to get into the county because all of our programs do things the right way. I mean, we're, we're pro-kid, pro-family, and, you know, they want to be here. Have you noticed this too, Coach? Because I've noticed it from like a game day perspective and talking to the people at the school. Centennial Nolensville, now that you're in the same league, that's taken on a different kind of – atmosphere in terms of those are real rivalries now playing in the same region yeah we've always been rivals with Nolansville because we've always been together but us and Centennial never played or Nolan and Centennial never really played but now now with Coach Stewart there and obviously getting that program headed to where he wants it to go I mean it's it's become it's real I mean it's it's something that kids during the spring are talking about you know we got to get ready for a Centennial or Nolo or Indy and you know, it's just kind of goes back to what we were saying earlier about Williams County love playing Williams County schools. It's great. It really is. It, 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 from a fan perspective, a kid perspective, I think sometimes with the coaches it's the most stressful because you know sure. what kind of opponents you got to get ready for. Coach Stidham, again, everybody knows how great your region is. That win by Ravenwood, I think, really highlights it. I mean, you don't sure. – and I know teams are different. And I know it's 3A. I saw something where uh, Alcoa – Folks thought they were one of the best five teams in this state going in. Any classification, public, private, whatever, that was a great win for them and for our region. Absolutely. You know, I texted Coach Hester on the way home. That's a big-time win because when I was at South Gibbs and we were with Alco, and you knew if you made it to the state, that's who was waiting for you. And, and they'll be there again. So uh, that was a huge win for Ravenwood for sure. Let's talk about this. Uh, a little different for Coach Stidham than, than Coach Rathbone. Coach, you've got uh, four games, counting tonight. Then you've got your region games. So you you still can kind of work yourself into it. You've got some time to get ready for those region games. You want to win them all, but it really comes down to those region games. Yeah, and it, you, you worry about health and things like that. And and that's kind of what I was saying about our offense. we got four or five games to play with and see, see what we could do well and see what we can build off of. And, and tonight's no different. We're going to try a few new things and see what happens, and and hopefully they work well, and we'll see. But, we, you know, we're not panicking yet until we get into our region, and luckily we don't have to get there for another three weeks after this. Can I get a list of those new things? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll give you a list. <laughs> Coach said them for you guys, count the night. There's just two games. And then it's right into region play. So strength of schedule requires you to get ready for those region games a little quicker. Yeah, it does. You know, we, you know, it goes Oakland, Page, Centennial, and then region, one of the toughest regions. So we understand what we're getting in for, and our, our whole thing's getting a little better today and be 1-0 and this week. And uh, so we we know the big picture and the kids know it, but you got to focus on, on what's at, at hand right now, and that's playing Page tonight. Let me ask both of you this. Uh, we're in scheduling year, right? 
Well, mm -hmm. When do you start thinking about that? I mean, you start thinking about, okay, here's the team we have. Um, is that something you're already thinking about? Are you already contacting one another? Or is that we got a few months before that happens? I haven't contacted anybody yet. I mean, I'll talk to coach and hopefully we'll keep playing. But a lot of it now with the region, you know, like we play a region game, they don't. And sometimes it's hard to put the puzzle right. together. And so really until that comes out, uh, it makes it tough. And, you know, coach, and hopefully we will too, make a long run in the playoffs. That makes it even harder. Because I remember we, mm -hmm. we scheduled last time, he was in the middle of getting ready for a semifinal yeah. game. So uh, it, it's coming, but I, we haven't, it hadn't quite gotten there yet for us. Same thing, Coach Rathbone. Yeah, and it's also classification. So they're yeah. having to redo classification right. so you don't know who's where and what. So, I mean, we're all kind of just on hold waiting for them to get that done. Well, it'll be an exciting time when it comes scheduling time again. Let's talk about your teams a little more specifically. Offensively, Coach Rathbone, you lost some weapons <clears> on <throat> offense. Uh, but talk about the play of, of Weepush last week at quarterback. You said all along, that guy could be the quarterback even before this year. When you look at his stats, passing, rushing, defense with tackles, pretty special football player. In that respect, kind of reminds me of Hurd a little bit. In terms of doing everything. Yeah, he, he can do it all. I mean, he's an athlete, great athlete. And we've kind of held back from putting him on offense because he's so good at defense. And that's where all the colleges are recruiting recruiting him at. So, But this year we have a need, and and he wants to take on that, that leadership and that responsibility of playing both ways. And, you know, we got a few guys that do that, but he had a great game the other night. He ran it when he was supposed to. He he pulled it down and tucked it and ran when he was supposed to. You know, if our pass routes were covered. And, he threw the ball well, so hopefully he can keep building off that. Our biggest thing is don't get lethargic. Don't get don't get happy because you have one good game. It takes 14, 15 good games, so, and that's what we're pushing him to do. Talk about some other guys you were pleased with offensively, Coach, last week. Uh, Caden Ackerman and uh, Knight Wilson at receivers are two wideouts. They had really, really good games. They, bought, they both caught some uh, big passes. Offensive line, uh, we didn't have the greatest number of rushing yards, but they played pretty dang well. I mean, they, they stayed on their blocks, finished some blocks, and – and they were able to do enough, you know, for them putting seven in the box, six, seven guys in the box at all times. We were able to pop a few runs. And, of course, defense. I mean, it was just about everybody on defense played a pretty good game. Um, you know, we're, we're, you know, we had a sophomore step up, uh, Dakota Bryce, who started a linebacker uh, because of injury. So, I mean, he did a great job of coming downhill and because Giles County's a pound -em team, and he wasn't afraid to stick his head in there and make some plays, and he did. So now with the uh, starter coming back, we're kind of – which way do we go? So, I mean, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's, it's, you know, it's been a great experience the last three years, just watching Hazard and these guys lead, and you see these guys just kind of leech on to them like an animal, and, and then they just follow in their footsteps, and they crave that learning, and, and then they get their shot, and boom, they answer the call, and it's just, it's, it's just fun. It's fun to watch. Coach Stidham, offensively, your sophomore quarterback, I think he was six for ten, but that doesn't tell the whole picture. He's got to make some decisions. I mean, everybody's yeah. quarterback has to make some decisions. I think maybe in particular with your offense, maybe he has to make more than people realize. Yeah, he does. On every play, we really don't know who's going to get the ball very often. Do we Do we call a design run that we know who's getting it before? So uh, Matt Horner did some really good things. He, it was his first varsity football game. One of his fumbles was uh, trying to get a first down. And, uh, you know, it's a big difference when a Monday night freshman got tackled in Oakland. Right. And so uh, I thought he did some good things. He took some shots. He played really tough. Um, he's got to get better, and uh, he knows that. He's had a really good week of practice. Well, and with him, you can kind of envision him being one of these guys. I think Brewer Wilson's like this at Franklin. He's a guy, you fast forward a year or two, and, man, is this experience going to help him. Yeah, I, I think so. But I remember someone asked me that before in preseason, will he be your quarterback because you'll have him three years. Well, that's not fair to this year's seniors. Sure. You know, he, he won it to, to help us win this this year. Uh, he's a three-sport athlete. He played on step, dressed out for a state championship basketball team. Uh, he ran track. So he he's done a lot of great things. And, uh, and then the seniors have responded and really helped him out. They understand we have juniors back on our offensive line that have played a lot. And so they understand, uh, Matt, I said he's going to be nervous if he's not, something's wrong with him. And so, uh, <laughs> so our offensive line, I thought, did some really good things to give him a chance. And that's tricky, isn't it? You got to, you, let's face it, quarterback's kind of the spot. Sure. People want to look at it and talk about the quarterback. I mean, there's, I mean, there's 10 other spots. 
but that's kind of the one. So when you've got juniors and seniors, it's important that those guys are good leaders and accept him and work for him and do those kind of things they have to do. That that takes a special bunch of bunch to do that. Yeah, we, we've got a bunch of really good kids with, with high character and, and are willing to do whatever it takes to help us have success. And uh, they're bought into indie football, and so uh, they're every day is fun to coach. You know, I mean, we've been practicing at five in the morning, and they've had a great attitude there after after losing a tough game last week. So that that says more about them than anything. It does, Coach Rathbone. Obviously, your defense we talked about a little bit earlier, but Ains. Hazard, Wee Bush, those are guys anybody would like to have. And you, you, you started talking about it a little bit, I could tell. You got a lot of season to play, but you appreciate what those guys have done for you. And it has to a little bit go, man, I, I don't want this to go too quickly. You know, you want to enjoy it, especially when you got a good group, like you were saying with this, with the, with his kids over there. You enjoy being around the kids, and they, you know, you look at them as your own kids. I mean, you do. You spend a lot of time with them, probably spend more time with them than the parents spend with them. And it's just, uh, it's hard to believe that like the Hazards and the Ainses and the Weebushes, four years have gone by so fast. And now we are in their last, uh, kind of like their last run. And I remind them of that after every single game. You know, your season's 10%, 20%. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Because there's nothing like high school football. They're going to all go on and play power four schools and play, uh, play next level football, but there's nothing like high school football. So I, think, I feel like I do a pretty good job of reminding them, you know, enjoy this process. They're all gonna be early enrollees too. So I mean, we got four months and they're going. You know, I mean, if you look at it all from those ways, it's kind of sad. But uh, the impact they've had on our program is just phenomenal, and you know, it's obviously something I don't take lightly. Coach Stedham, let's talk about your team defensively. I noticed one of your comments you made after the game was, "We want to limit big plays. We've got to do a better job of limiting the big plays." Yeah, and uh, Oakland got a lot. You know, we they. Kind of three big haymakers, we call them, where they, they, they got big touchdowns. And, and now we're playing a team tonight that's capable of doing the same thing with athletes that can run. So uh, some we've worked on, a lot of it was technique and fundamental things that our, our defensive staff has done a great job of helping coach them. Now we've got to make teams snap it again. We don't, have, uh, we don't have elite speed in our secondary. I think we have guys that can run. We don't have that guy who can go catch you every time. But one thing to brag on our defense, you know, talking about the kind of kids, I mean, the game's kind of over at 35 nothing, and twice we stop Oakland with their starters in. You know, and it's not like, uh, you know, a lot of teams just give up and quit. So our kids kept fighting, and so there's something to build on for sure. You talk about this with your defense because mm -hmm. you talked about those three haymakers. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I bet the stats look like yeah. you want them to look. Sure. Yeah, they, they had big plays. Our problem is that We've, we've scrimmaged some great teams, and every team we've scrimmaged has also gotten those. So we've got to get it fixed. We've got to be more sound and, and do those little things, understand where they fit. But uh, hopefully we'll continue to improve tonight. Coach Rathbone, uh, week one, how would you feel about your special teams? Uh, terrible. We had a field goal block. <laughs> this uh, is every football coach, by the way. <laughs> well, we lined up for one. The, the only thing we did was make four extra points. That's it. That's it. You know, we got the ball in the end zone one time on kickoff, which was a positive, but we let them return it. We, coverage was pretty good. Our punter, uh, a five-star punter who had, what, a 30-yard average maybe? You know, and uh, you know, you can't, you can't have that five-star label and come out there and be kicking it off your kneecaps. I mean, that's – can't have it. And then uh, we got a field goal blocked when it was an obviously a situation where we should have shifted our alignment on the, uh, on the front. So I was not happy with it whatsoever. I do think it's something that's fixable. You know, I think it's easy fixes and and just uh, focus things and and we'll get it corrected. But I, it was not a great night special teams for us. Coach, we mentioned kind of the same thing with you guys. Uh, you get one blocked, uh, you get one that you don't make that you always make. It seems like to me with special teams for whatever reason, uh, it's kind of like out of bounds plays in basketball. It's like the day of the game. You're like, okay, we got to get the ball in bounds. Not that you don't work on special teams. Sure. But it seems like that part, that phase is the hardest to work on in the preseason and scrimmages and jamborees. It seems like the game, you got to have games. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't like to do special teams in scrimmages. We did some, some live with a few teams that wanted to. Um, but, you know, we got our kicker back, we got our punter back, we got our holder back. There's a new snapper on both, both sides. And so there's so many variables that are part of special teams that people don't think about. They just want to look at the kicker. 
did he make right. it? So in our protections, a lot of new guys. So everything's correctable. Andrew Bingham had a, had a good night punting, and uh, we need him to. Uh, he, he's an all-state punter for a reason. And uh, we did some good things with the return game. Unfortunately, we only get to kick off once when you get shut out. But uh, we we showed some flashes of being pretty good, and we just have to – we need to be special in special teams tonight to have a chance. Well, and you talk about special teams. Uh, look at Franklin's win over Centennial. It, they, they went on an amazing play, but it was kind of – there's a botched – it was a good snap, but they bobbled it, gets up, fire drill, scores, and everybody, oh, it's great. But it's just sure. one of those things. They didn't really want it to happen that way. <laughs> they right. wanted to kick the extra point. So <laughs> it just seems to be one of those things you get a lot better. I always say with teams, too, it, feels, it seems like your biggest improvement is from week one to two because it's a real game. Uh, but it seems like in that phase it really – happens that way. Do you, would you agree with that? I hope so. <laughs> for sure. I think we both do. You're banking but, on it. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I do think that for sure from week one to week two uh, is the biggest improvement. But unfortunately, so is theirs. Right. You know? So, uh, but our kids are excited to see how much we've gotten better because they really have done a good job of being coachable and, and understanding the mistakes we made last week. You've seen that with special teams too, right? That you'll make a, you tend to make a big jump early. Yeah, and a lot of times with special teams, you get so few snaps, even during the game, that they try to do too much. Yeah. So they try to kick the bar too hard, or they try to be too perfect with a snap, or, or whatever. And they kind of, when you try to do that, you're, you're so, the room for air grows, and they, they miss it off the other foot or whatever. And that's just something we've got to relax and, and make the kick. You know, I was listening to, I'm just wondering if this is the case at, at your level. I, was, I heard a college coach saying this week, that special teams is kind of the place where they get those guys in that want to prove themselves. Prove you can take care of your assignment on special teams, and you know what? You might get in offensively. You might get in defensively. Is that is that kind of the same thing? Yeah, but I mean, we also play some starters on yeah. special teams too. Um, but, yeah, you, there's some kid. We'll, we almost every week try to add a kid that played great in a JV game Monday night to put him on a special team and uh, just to give them an opportunity to play on Friday night. So kids that are bought into it and that'll give all those efforts and understand their role, um, it's exciting to see what they'll do for you. Same thing with your team, Coach, in terms of getting those guys in on special teams? Yeah, I mean, we got some guys playing both ways like we talked about, so it's a chance to get them a break. So you got to bring in some guys and trust them to do their do their job and do it well. And, and, and again, they will. I mean, these guys from both teams, they'll, they'll learn from their mistakes and correct them and get them get it corrected. Offensively, let's talk about tonight's game. Coach Stidham, what kind of strides are you looking to make offensively? You're like, I mean, obviously you don't want to turn the ball over and sure. do some of those things. What are some, some things you're really looking for your team to do tonight? Yeah, we just got to be consistent, able to finish drives, you know. Obviously turnovers is first, but we got the ball in the red zone twice and weren't able to punch it in. Now we're also playing, and I know Oakland's a great defense. We might be playing the best one. We've scrimmaged NBA and Hillsboro and – Pearl Cone and East Nashville and all these teams, I think they got the best defense we face. So it's going to be harder uh, to do it once we get down there. But we're going to have that's something we're going to have to do to have a chance. What about your team tonight? What are some strides you're looking to make offensively from week one to week two? Well, obviously their offense makes us be a assignment disciplined defense. You know, we can't just pin our ears back and go. We got to be discipline and assignment and and I worry about their quarterback throwing the ball I mean he, he he throws the ball well he really does and so if we focus too much on stopping the dive and the option he can easily drop back and, and hit us for, and burn us deep offensively we just got to continue to grow continue to get better continue to execute our plays and you know and, and read the uh, kind of like uh, coach Denham's offense read the uh, read the assignments correctly and get the ball in the right places and and you know it's gonna be a it's gonna be an evolution you know and see how we you know, how we respond to some struggles last week. I think we'll be okay, but, you know, their defense is really good. You know, they, we talk about our defense, but still Katina and, and some of those guys they have, they got the best center in the state, I feel like. He's, he's really, really, really good. One of our coaches uh, coached him in the – I think it was Franklin Cowboys, and he really high on him, talks about what a good player he is. So it's going to be a it's gonna be a challenge for both of us. I mean, the bad thing is he and I, we got to stand over and watch and, and sweat it out while they get to play, <laughs> you know. That's <laughs> right. Well, talk about Coach Rathbone. Talk about preparing for the indie offense. It's different. Talk well, about that. Well, you got to put a lot of time. You know, we practiced all week. We didn't even practice with the football, you know. So uh, you got to put a lot of time in. 
you got dive, you got dive, you got dive, you got pitch, you got quarterback, and, and it's something you don't see every week. I mean, with Giles County, it was a triple stack, and they're just going to try to pound you down the middle. And, uh, and Indy doesn't do that. You know, they're good at spreading you out horizontally and trying to find a seam and busting it through the seam. And if we're not in where we're supposed to be, we're going to get burnt. Talk about your defense. What are some challenges tonight, some things you got to do maybe better than you did last week? Yeah, we again, giving up the big play we've talked about, but they've done a great job of allowing their athletes out in space to do it. You know, the offense, they do such a great job of putting their kids in the best position to make plays. Their quarterback can run it. We've got to contain him somehow. Uh, that's going to be easier said than done. But, you know, they, he can throw it. Um, it's, it's a big challenge, and I, I make offensive line, they're outstanding. So uh, we've got to try to contain the quarterback the best we can and, and limit those big plays. Well, gentlemen, we're looking forward to it again. Tonight's WCTV Game of the Week, Independence traveling to Page High School. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for joining us for the Coaches Show. We'll see you next time.